Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you liked this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all and welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged, some is not. And the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it, y'all. Let's get to it, y'all. I told y'all. I told y'all. I told y'all. Now, y'all be thinking that I just be saying some stuff sometimes. But no, I told y'all the other day, Shitika is about to hit the fan. I told y'all this. It's about to get ugly, okay? And Satan is very busy, okay? He's very busy, but God got this, okay, y'all? He got it. Now, I know there is some bumps and stuff along the way, but everybody, everything that's happening right now is supposed to happen the way it is happening, okay, y'all? It was supposed to happen this way. Now, one thing that we all agree on, it's this whole situation with the dolph and the this and the dad and the juke and it is boils down to these two people right here. Okay? Everything boils down to these two people right here. I don't care what nobody else say. It doesn't matter how many lies people tell to try to throw the change the narrative. It doesn't matter about nothing. All it boils down to is this one right here with this big head, y'all. Is he going down for what happened to Dolph? Because word on the street is, he paid for it. I'm going to say allegedly, but this is what everybody has been saying since it all started from before he even got hit up in Memphis. Okay, y'all? This is where it all stems from. These two people right here. And everything else goes out the door. Okay, y'all? Now, I always let y'all know what I'm doing and everything. I always tell you, okay? So, y'all know every time I get threats or whatever, 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 I have had to report. They tell me to them. Report to them straight to them. Do not report to no police in Memphis. No police is wherever you from, blah, 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 blah. Report straight to them anything that's weird out the blue that happens, okay? This is why I tell y'all this was going on when I was doing them all three case, and it's going on now, okay, y'all? So, I did reach out to them, do another report, and sent them all the information of what just took place. On my birthday, when they sent um, me that tape and all of that stuff, I, I sent them that original copy of what was going down at the particular time it was going down. I also sent them information letting them know that, you know, me and this other particular blogger, Okay, just want to be undercover cop. Okay, y'all, that ain't nothing but, you know, a broke chick. Okay, y'all, if she got so much money to sue people, won't you get some air conditioning in that sweaty car you got, okay? This is what I'm trying to tell you. She broke, okay? She's a part of the broke crew. She ain't no different than Raven now. No wonder Raven is on her page talking to her now, okay? Do y'all see how everything is coming into play? And I told y'all that people were under investigation, didn't I, y'all? I told y'all this. And word on the street is now Raven is over there on her page doing an interview. This is why I tell y'all everybody's stuff gonna come together. Okay, so I did send them information that you know, you know, I did put up a video about Black Youngster Spot and all of this stuff. I tell them everything that I am doing. Okay, and ever since me and her been bumping heads, ever since then. Okay, no matter what, you know, this other sucker subscribers want to be all up in people's comment section talking about she gets into it with everybody. Yeah, when I'm getting down to the nitty gritty, that's what happens. That's what happens. Okay, y'all. So I did send a report in of a crime taking place. This man being taken out. Okay. In, in whatever it was, Hampton, the guy being taken out, it was all being, you know, recorded, the shooting, the everything, while it was taking place, okay? And I was the first one that people reached out to, to give this to, okay, y'all? And they turned around and edited the stuff that they put in there. All of that is suspect, y'all. This is why I tell y'all, when I tell you people are under investigation that they watching them too, they watching them too. Y'all, they're getting scared. They're getting scared, y'all. And CMG, little YouTube agents. <laughs> uh, 
come, they amateurs, y'all. They are amateurs, and they all is peed off right now. I keep telling y'all, when you have a big thing going on at a particular place, and this illegal stuff going on, and they get outed, and then these undercover, the well, I ain't gonna say undercover, but dirty cops that's connected to CMG and black youngster now, that was, you know, in their back, in their pockets, they even have to back away now. They have to back away now because the spot is hot. Okay, y'all? The spot is hot and they are peed. They thought they had everything in a bag. Okay? Everything. From the bloggers to the lies to the this to the that to the person showing up on a... They thought they had everything. They thought all... They had all the eyes dotted and the T's crossed. But now they got to go back to the table. And now they got to come another way. And boy, ain't they coming a different way, y'all. They trying to come with everything they got. Okay? But truth be told, y'all. Truth be told. It's out there now. Okay? It's out there. Auto Sales 901 Inc. allegedly has a lot of illegal stuff going on. 901... Inc. Auto Sales also is owned by Black Youngster. Okay, y'all? And word on the street now. This is what I'm hearing from my old source, not the new ones that are blocked. Okay, y'all? Word on the street is they scared, y'all. They scared. Y'all know I put up the video saying that they were scared trying to get extra police protection and this and that and that and this. Well, the people that was running the place they don't really want to be in there anymore. They are scared for their lives now. Okay? And I told y'all, I told y'all that they were scared. I don't think they knew that people knew about the spot. And when I let the cat out the bag, that people know about this spot. Okay? They know that there's illegal stuff going on here. And I'm hearing all kind of stuff. Money laundering, everything is going on through this place right here, y'all. Okay? They bring it in all kind of stuff with these cars and all kind of stuff. And now it makes sense about all of these cars and everything being tied to Black Youngster. The white car was tied to Black Youngster too. Is this why all the cars is tied to Black Youngster every time uh, uh, something takes place? Ask yourself this question because he has this car a lot. And I want y'all to think about Mo3. I want y'all to think about Mo3 in the same exact play. Because y'all remember Papa Blue Man Smurf? Trap Roy Freddy's um brother. He owns an auto store too. He sells cars. And remember all those cars that was on the expressway? All this stuff is connected. Um they ain't got enough sense to throw to try to change stuff around. They feel like Mo3, they got away with trying to take Mo3 out. So they're going to use the same play. And they use the same play with dog. This is how I saw the signs from the start. This is how I knew that Dallas. And Memphis was connected. The same people that took Mo3 out all knew each other. And they was entwined in cahoot with taking Dolph out too. I told y'all this from the start. And they mad. Oh, are they mad, y'all. Okay? And they thought they was going to take the sweaty Shrek chick over there to, you know, play man games with people. But now everything is coming back together, y'all. Everything. And that's another thing that I had to send to the feds, too. I had to send to the feds that Miss Tamara reached out to me and asked me for information on Say No to Brain Cells now, okay? And now we're finding out that she's working with them. They're all in the same inner circle. I told y'all, okay? Um, <clears throat> watch God work, y'all. Watch him work. People in my comment section, oh, Miss Lowdown, they trying to break you. They ain't breaking me, y'all. They adding fuel to the fire, okay, y'all? This is what they're doing, and that's all they're doing, okay? They call themselves trying to start a little fire, okay, with me and people that's been working together to try to put out a little, you know, information together and, you know, figure out what's going on. They tried to start beef with me and other people, but it's not working because now we're seeing it for what it really is, okay, y'all? And this one right here. That was scared to show his face on the news when they was advertising. And this is what I could tell y'all. A lot of these people is connected to some of these news people, okay, too. Okay, it's the same thing in Mo3 case. There's a news reporter lady that was connected to their case. Okay? Every time something happens, I want y'all to go look it up. Mo3's manager was the one that jumped on social media. Well, not on social media. Jumped on the phone and called. Oh, Boosie just got hit up. Remember y'all? Who called that in? 
It was a Mo3 manager. Okay? Remember I told y'all that Mo, uh, Rainwater has the news people on speed dial? They're all friends, y'all. Okay? Now, the news, and this is allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Now, the news lady was, the news people was also called. When, when Mo3 was hit up on the expressway, guess who called the news people then? Rainwater again. Okay? He's always the one that calls the news. So that they can be, you know, have their name all over the place on the news channel. So this is it's a form of advertising for him. So any, you know, upcoming artists that want to be an artist, they can, oh, that's right. He's a um, manager. Let me reach out to him. But he ain't the person to reach out for, to, y'all. If he line up his own, his own artist, this not who y'all want to work with. Okay? It's the same thing going on here. Y'all, because they're saying now that this news guy, I forgot his name, but y'all know who I'm talking about. They saying he knew the place too. Word on the street about what was going down with Dolph as well. So it's a lot of stuff that's connecting together now. Now it makes sense why the news people is pretending like they're concerned about people, you know, the crime going up. And they did a, you know, news report and they put up here heavy camp and black youngsters business showing off the cars and all of that stuff and pretty much advertising for them. And then they turns around and they don't even show this guy. All of this is y'all suspect is H to the E L L It's suspect. Why didn't you want to be shown on the news when they were showing the cars? This lets you know. Okay, y'all. This lets you know, and not only is this guy right here and a couple of other alien a agents that I've been calling out on YouTube, there's other agents on YouTube too that's in the same inner circle that's working with these heavy campers, y'all, okay? So I just want y'all to pay attention. When somebody throws a monkey wrench in your stuff, you get speed off. Now you have to regroup Try to now do your money laundering and all your other stuff somewhere else because the dirty cops that was working with them, they backing off because now they know it is super, super hot. Okay. This is how you <coughs> fight fire with fire. Okay, y'all. I don't have dragons. Okay, y'all. In there for nothing. When you see that dragon act, you better know. Ain't no punks over here, okay? And when I explain stuff, I just explain stuff so people will know what's really going on that's new coming in. Because ever since this whole little beef been going back and forth and this and that and that and this, there's still a lot of new people coming in. They don't understand what all is going on. So I have to break stuff down so they can know. So I know y'all get tired of me saying something over and over sometimes, but it's new people coming in here. And they need to know what's going on. OK, and when I apologize or whatever, whatever, whatever for anything or when I, you know, speak on something and I say this and I say that it ain't because I am folding for nobody by any means. OK, I have to straighten some stuff out with my people. But at the same time, ain't no punk over here, y'all. I promise y'all that it never has been and it never will be. OK, y'all. People are peed off to the 25th power right now black youngsters family members they don't want to show their face at this place of business anymore they are scared when they're closing up and leaving out right now and if they're scared y'all know raven scared okay y'all y'all know she's scared too everybody now is trying to get in cahoots together to figure out what we're gonna do next because they got called out on their stuff okay y'all and in the only way that the police is going to go over there and send people these same under, you know, dirty cops. The only way these dirty cops going to go over there now to that auto place to protect these people, black youngsters people, is if somebody higher up send them over there so they can have an excuse for going over there. Now they don't want to go over there and be around them on their own. They don't want to be a part of the illegal stuff that's going on at this auto shop now. They don't want to be a part of catching, catching some heat, okay, y'all, from the people that's peed off at Black Youngster for dancing all around the graveyard, okay, with the Thornton. A lot of people is trying to separate themselves. Even the dirty cops is trying to separate themselves now from the situation. They don't want to go down with Black Youngster and Yogati now. 
They don't want to go down. They don't want to get caught in a facility now because that place, let's get back to it again. I might want to put the picture back up one more time. That place is hot. Okay, y'all? This place is hot as pine pepper right now, y'all. And they mad a little, little me. Okay, y'all? They mad. And I'm going to tell you this. This is why they're doing what they're doing. This is why they run in plays. But the play just backfired because it just put them all in the limelight and proved everything that I was saying was true. Okay, y'all? I can't, I can't say this enough. When you have somebody that's pretending to be a detective and you are over there lying to people and trying to scare people on internet, scare subscribers and all of the stuff that you got so much power and you ain't, your air in your car don't even work. I told y'all she from the project. She never had anything but some pack of whacker. She get a lot of that. Okay, y'all. And now they're even tired of her. All right, y'all. Um, Shitika is about to hit the fan. And it's getting closer and closer and winding down. And the more that it's winding down to get closer to those, those dates for to start this trial, people are being shown that, y'all, the veil is being lifted, y'all. Everybody that's keeping up with this case is very important right now. Nobody's bigger than the other. I'm not bigger than Onea, Onea, not bigger than me. Whoever else is talking about this case, you know, I, I, the identical um, twins, they've been talking about the case. A lot of people that's talking about this case, that's really want justice for Dolph, everybody has to play a part. Just like everybody played a part to line Dolph up. Everybody is playing their position right now. And they don't like it. They can't control the narratives. They can't do this. They can't do that. While Onan is over there digging, you know, and finding out so much stuff. Look at what I uncovered, y'all. Okay, y'all. That was my purpose. It's the same thing with Mo3. Everybody was talking about Mo3 case. But I was the one that went through that back door and found out it was all about Hector. Okay, y'all. And all of these people were best friends with Hector. So they call themselves... That new movie that they put Mo3 in, that's why it was called The Revenge, y'all. Because they were getting revenge for Hector's passing, okay? That's why that case is stalled right now. Because they doing some more digging. I have been putting, giving people information on that for ever since Mo3 case started. Everything that I have, the feds have. Just know that, okay, y'all? Just know that. So, it's the same thing with this. Somebody reach out to me. I didn't even know who it was. People in my comment section told me it was Black Youngster that was reaching out to you. He got dummy accounts that they, this is how they do. They reach out and threaten people. Okay? So for me to start getting threats from Black Youngster, okay, y'all? After they put their little illegal spot on, uh, uh, made it hot. Not only did they make it, it hot, that the fans is watching now to see what, who's coming and going. Okay? They're watching everything. Not only that, all of the ops is watching, y'all. They've been watching. That's how I found out they was looking at this place in the first place. All of the ops is lining up waiting. They can't catch Black Youngster. He's scared. He likes to let everybody else take falls. And he had out somewhere. But when he come on the scene, he want to make it look like he's so crazy. And then he just out here just wilding. If you was the way you was on the stage... You wouldn't be hiding in another city and state after y'all done kicked this stuff off. You wouldn't have left your cousins and stuff to run this spot and hide now. Now your cousins don't want to work for, the, for you no more. They want you to close the place down. They want you to get somebody else to run it. They don't want to lose their lives now because of black youngster and the stuff that he's tied to. But as long as it was hidden in plain sight... They were good. They were good then, y'all. How do you talk about people in a community wanting, you know, to come together as a community, but don't show them on the news? You ain't showing their faces. Why? Ask yourself this question. Because they all been in cahoot. And a lot of people say it's very sad how they lined off up. It is. 
But I think it was political, to be honest with y'all. I think it reached far beyond. Okay, y'all? But the main culprit in this, allegedly, is your Gotti. And they're trying everything in their power to get everything off of him. But you can't. And now that <laughs> the cat is out the bag, people like this is reaching out to me. And I guess because he put this King Edo on here and um, Illuminati.org. I guess he thought this was supposed to scare me. He, I guess he thought I talk about Illuminati all the time. I talk about the horrors of the industry all the time. So this just goes to show you that all of this goes hand in hand, y'all. Okay? People came to me and told me who King Edo was. I didn't even know who it was. Because when I got the message, the face wasn't on there like this. The face wasn't on here. People sent it to me and like, yeah, that's one of his pages. He's sending that to you. So he's peed off. Okay? He's peed off in the cut. Just like they peed off right now. Okay? All of this is a connection. And now, Mr. Show up at the scene every time before somebody, the police get there. Now, they are on to him now. Because they are seeing now that he's a part of the play. This backdoor guy. Okay? This news media guy right here. Back with news, y'all. He's a part of the play as well. Not only is he showing up early to crime scenes, he's showing up now while the crime scene is going on. You are there on the scene while the shooting is taking place. You ain't, that ain't no scanner, y'all. That ain't no scanner if you're listening to boom, 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 boom in the background while he's talking. That ain't no scanner, y'all. He's there before the scanner, the police is called. He's there before the police is called. So it's not a scanner. They are all in cahoot, y'all. Okay? And this thing right here, Miss Sweaty, Shrek. Okay, y'all? She has been caught up in her mess. And there's nothing she can do about it. Okay, y'all? I told y'all. You put that, you know how you do when you, um, and ladies, when you're trying to figure out if this is the right guy for you, you put up the good traits and the bad traits. You do the same thing in this type of situation. Which bloggers is for this person? Which bloggers is for that person? And why she end up on the side with say no to brain cells? Why she end up on that side? Why she reach out to me? I got the emails and everything, and I'm going to go back and find all of this stuff for y'all. But I have... You know, and I'm going to put it together, okay? Not find it, but I'm going to go and put it together in a um thing so I can show y'all my email. I think I can show y'all. I don't know. Because, you know, YouTube be on some BS sometimes. It is my email, but I've showed people my emails before. And, you know, they be on some BS about that. So, I don't know, okay? But I have her messages asking me for information on somebody that she's working with. Now, I want y'all to pay attention to the fact that this guy, first interview was with Say No to Brain Cells. The back with news guy. His first interview was with Say No to Brain Cells, okay? Now, you do a second interview and it's with her. And now, I want y'all to pay attention that Raven is always on Say No to Brain Cells page. They done made a cookie in his name and all kind of stuff. Now, ask yourself this question. Why is she on shrek's page now word on the street i don't know i haven't went over there to see but everybody's sending me messages saying why is she using her platform now to have raven on there because she was down with raven them from the start y'all do y'all see how everything is coming together now every move that she's making now is showing y'all everything i said was true everything i said why is the police's or expo well she ain't no ex-police ex-police dispatcher so connected with everybody that played a part with what happened to Dolph, y'all. She don't want to discuss anything that has to do with Raven now. She don't want us to discuss any of that. And there's so many red flags up right now, y'all. Because like I told y'all, you have to pay attention to everybody. And everybody is suspect right now. 
Even people in Dolph's family is suspect. His brother, that's so quiet. All of that mess, that's some BS. Because if that was anybody else's brother that went that went down the way, they'd be all over the place making sure that they got justice for their brother. He's quiet as a mouse. The family is quiet as a mouse out of all of the properties and everything that Dolph got. No kind of beef and a no whatever, ever. Everybody just got, just split everything up and everybody's happy and quiet. I want y'all to pay attention to that. That's important, okay? I want you to pay attention to the fact that the people that allegedly helped line up Dolph, they got a cookie in Dolph's name. The only way that they can do that is they got permission from the family to put that cookie in Dolph's name and sell it in their shop. So is they getting money from them selling these cookies? Because who going to let, that's just like you letting them um, open up a store and put Dolph clothing line in there. That means the family is getting paid off them cookies too. And as long as this money is flowing, it seems like it doesn't matter to a lot of people that was around Dolph of who all played a part. Now, everybody saw it very suspect that you know, Makita's window got hit up a little bit. And they collected hundreds of thousands of dollars, y'all. And a lot of people already thought this from the start. A lot of people thought this from the start, y'all, that that's how they got paid through the GoFundMe because, you know, they didn't want to just pass them the money and they'd be spending this money and it just come from nowhere. So they had to use the GoFundMe as an excuse to get paid for the hit word on the street. Okay, y'all. Now, how in the world is the same circle of people now still swirling around? And now this person that was calling herself, you know, that she wasn't biased. Because everything started from me talking about Black Youngster's spot and her best friend, who is cousins to Black Youngster. And me calling her out on her stuff, saying that she's too close to this. She's going to be biased when the court starts. And now look how everything has blown out of proportion, y'all. And now they're coming at me with everything they got, trying to get me into it with people. And no doubt, I bet you they probably somebody that's, you know, undercover too, because we got some undercover trolls out here that's really for CMG them. This is how they reach out to these bloggers they send me stuff oh on oh, it ain't on your side they send him stuff she's over there talking about you this is how this stuff goes but this also shows you how petty they are y'all this is a grown woman that was allegedly well not allegedly answering 911 calls do you see how people lives are in danger that's even calling 911 spots now y'all see why people don't want to call the police you are calling 911 and you don't have a responsible adult on the other end of that line to make sure that the police get to where they need to get to and do their job to help the community. You got an old skank, stanky, sweaty, skanker, skanker, skank, okay, answering the phone that's running around in between breaks, giving brain and backdoor action in the sweaty little raggedy car that she got on the outside. Okay, y'all, she never even upgraded. How's you working as a dispatcher for the police and you, you, your car don't even got no air in it? How is that, y'all? How do you post a video on YouTube and a picture of yourself with your eyeliner running sweaty in a car and you want people to believe, oh, I'm, I contacted my lawyer. Girl, you can't afford a lawyer, okay? You can't afford one. And now that shit is hitting the fan. Not only do young Dolph's ops, are they scared? The people that's surrounded by this stuff, that's all entwined together, is scared too. And don't think for one minute that this backdoor news guy ain't going to have some goons on his tail. Because now people are saying that you setting up plays too. You're not really for pre. You're not really for the streets. You don't really care for people because you just use this man's passing as a mockery. Just so you can help your friend 
the blogger, the sweaty Shrek blogger. Try to line another blogger up because she's telling the truth on you. I told y'all, I told y'all, I told y'all. The difference between me and her, okay, is I'm putting the facts out there. She's making up lies. She want to try to make me the people discredit what I'm saying. This is what she want to do. She wants to try to make people discredit what I'm saying. But now, as the new interviews is popping up, now Raven is on your page and all of this mess, mess, mess. Now everybody is knowing what's really going on and who all is really connected, y'all. Everybody is seeing it for what it is now, okay? And the cat is out the bag. And now, not only is the fans watching Black Youngster them spot now, not only is they paying attention now to the dirty cops that's connected to Black Youngster now, but now they paying attention to this blogger now. Now they paying attention to this fake news reporter guy. Now they paying attention to him. Because how do you be at a place everywhere before the police get there? And now you're there before the police is even called. How are you there first while the situation is going on? Everybody is saying that this man that just got taken out over there, that they lied and said it was one of the pre-members. They said this man... Don't do nothing but help people. This was a good guy. So this goes to show you that him being taken out probably had nothing to do with him. That's why the police don't have a clue on who did it. It was a random person that they took out and they wanted to. What they say they was doing? Making a movie. They making a movie. Now, I'm going to say this. I don't know if this part right here is true or not, but I'm going to let this cat out the bag. A whole bunch of people right now is sending me so many messages, y'all. On my IG, on in my emails, there are people in my comment section. That's all up and down my comment section right now. Some new people, some other people that have sent me stuff before from a while back. They are all telling me that this female... The Shrek lady, okay? They're saying that she has ties to Auntie. Auntie Fee. This is what I'm hearing. I don't know if it's true or not. So I'm going to throw that out there. But they're saying that they got into it last year. These two friends. This is word on the street, y'all. And I'm dropping some jewels. Allegedly. Okay? They're saying that they're tied. So now it's making sense. Now it's making sense that you would reach out to me and then turn around and put the new, the fake news guy report up and then say, I ain't trying to be the first one to report stuff. I try to sit back and wait till the da 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 da. Okay, y'all? I ain't stupid, okay? I know when somebody throwing something my way. I ain't stupid, okay? And now the feds know everything that's going on that has taken place. Now, the more that she called herself trying to come at me, the more she's making herself look bad right now. Shrek, that is, y'all. The more that she's trying to come at me, she's putting a spotlight on herself even more. The feds is looking at everything, y'all. They're paying attention to even Raven. Sloppy, slouchy, a seeker. Running from page to page, trying to plead her defense. What did her mama tell her? Just be quiet and stop talking. Stop talking. She's trying to warn her to shut the fuck up, okay, y'all? This is what Pamela, Mama Cookie, said, okay? To Baby Cookie. But Baby Cookie ain't listening. She's still running around showing who all is in cahoot with each other. Okay, y'all? I just want y'all to pay attention and stay focused on everything that's taking place right now. They are scared right now, y'all. That's why Big Juke was taken out. Because they was scared. Okay? I want y'all to pay attention to something. And I'm going to leave y'all with this. Okay, y'all? Let's rewind time a little bit. And let's bring Juke back to life. Okay, y'all? Big Juke 
has money tied into CMG. He's part owner of CMG, okay? His brother wanted Dolph to be taken out. He made sure that it happened, okay? Allegedly. He made sure that everything went as smooth as planned, okay, y'all? Allegedly, okay? At the same time, the walls are closing in on your Gotti right now because his name is written all over this mess, y'all. No matter how people want to look at it, your Gotti name is all over this mess. Okay? And Black Youngster too. All their names is all over this mess. And, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all, believe it or not, Moneybag Yo Nim, they all know to the play. They all knew. They all, everybody played their part. He's trying to, one way, play the fence. He's trying to play the fence, but at the same time, you can tell that there is some type of resistance with Moneybag Yo. Because Moneybag Yo don't want to go down with them when everybody else fall, when those dominoes start falling. So he's trying to separate himself too a little bit, okay? That's why, you know, things that people, his name keeps popping up, okay? And I'm going to tell y'all this, when they think that you're a weak link, they will take you out. Allegedly. CMG now. So don't be surprised if Moneybag Yo be somebody that they try to, you know, get rid of that weak link as well, okay? Because a lot of money was given to him that wasn't his. So where did he take that money to? And who did he give that money to? It's the question now, okay? Now, I want you to pay attention to something. Everybody had Yogati's name in their mouth, and they still do about this whole situation. What, what went down with Young Dolph? Now, you have two brothers that owns CMG, right, y'all? One of the brothers' name keep popping up, Yogati. Not the muscle. Which is Juke. Yo Gotti name is popping up. Now I want y'all to think about something. If Yo Gotti go to jail. Who is going to be left out here in charge? Big Juke. He was going to be running CMG. Running the artist. Everything. That's all, He was doing it anyway. So of course he was going to be the man. He was going to be the man running things. I want y'all to pay attention to this because this has Cain and Abel written all over it. Okay, y'all? Everybody know that Big Juke was the muscle. So it made sense for your Gotti to try to get the heat off of himself, throw Big Juke under the bus, and try to put this fire out that's headed his way. But people pour gasoline on it, and it's still headed his way. And they're trying and they're reaching and they're doing everything that they possibly can to get the attention off of him. They scared, y'all. They scared. And no matter how many, you know, post him and his sister post up, who cares? I know I don't give a what they post. What you think, you know, Dolph people that really cared about how y'all think they really felt? How you think they felt when y'all lined him up? So who cares what your Gotti's sister is posting? Does she miss her brother? It's a lot of people missed off. Who cares what your Gotti is posting up his brother chain and this and that and that and this? If you cared about your brother, you would have had the same security on your family as you had on yourself. So this just goes to show you that you allegedly played a part in your own brothers getting taken out. Because you didn't want him to be the man while you go to jail. You wasn't trying to sit behind bars. But the thing of it is, everything is backfiring. Everything y'all doing is backfiring right now. And it don't even make no sense. I, you know, I the uh, I was talking about the color purple, y'all. <laughs> I was talking about it. And I, I was, you know, had my movie night too. And we decided to watch the color purple. And the new one. And I watched it, and it wasn't bad, y'all. They changed the ending. They changed a lot of stuff in it around. It was not bad as people act like it was. It really was good outside of the, the singing. Now, I did, I ain't going to lie, I scanned through all the singing. I did. I don't know if he, they could sing or not. I scanned through all of the singing, okay? But as far as the movie, they added stuff in there that made it, you know, tie in a little bit better. Not better, but, you know, it tied in. Was it better than the first one? No, it was not, I don't think. 
but it was still a decent movie. But I keep thinking about what she said to the man that made her life a living H to the E-L-L. She said, everything that you do, I have, that you didn't done to me, I have already done to you. It seems like this is what's going on with Dolph and Yogati. That everything that they was doing, they tried to do to Dolph. It's being done to them now. They didn't want Dolph opening up business. They wanted to run him out of the city. They wanted him out of here. And now the same thing is in rotation with them and everybody that's connected to them, y'all. Okay? Do not believe for one minute that people ain't scared. Because soon as Big Juke was taken out, y'all, I put up a video of Raven Face. And I put up a video, of when I put that video up, I showed you her face when Dolph was taken out, how she was smiling, like she was about to come into some major money, okay? And they did. And then when Big Juke was taken out, she was looking sad. She was looking real sad and worried, y'all. Go back to my old videos about Raven, you will see it, okay? Now, I want y'all to think about this raging street walker over there, okay, y'all? I want y'all to hit, not street walker, police back door action. Okay, y'all, Shrek over there. All right, y'all, I want you to think about how she was so upset when Juke got taken out. And now you got Raven over there. You got this guy that's showing up to places. Da, 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 da. You got this guy that's helping you. <laughs> Pay attention, y'all. Pay attention. It's about to get ugly right now, okay? And they got CMG members are scared out of their minds in Memphis. Do y'all see how many times that Drake is scheduled to come to Memphis and perform and he keep canceling? You know why? It's hot, okay, y'all? That's why Drake don't want to be there. A lot of people that's connected to each other and this and that and that and this. People are firing their essicus up. Okay? I want y'all to pay attention to this. People are getting fired up, y'all. And don't think that Orange Mound Quit is safe. Don't think that Moneybag Yo is safe. It's a lot of stuff that was going on with Moneybag Yo even that don't even got nothing to do with Dolph. It got to do with street stuff. Okay, as to why they can't come in certain areas and all of that stuff. So they all got a lot of stuff going on with them outside of the Dolph stuff. They do, even Black Youngster. And now his family, like I told y'all, is scared out their minds. And their friends that's been settled in on YouTube, okay, that's trying to pretend like they're, you know, for Dolph and Justice. They're upset now because their friends are upset. Because they can't move around like they want to anymore. They can't. And all of these businesses that black youngsters calling themselves opening up and this and that and that and this. All of them going to be put on blast. All of them. So anything that y'all try to open up, everything is going to be brought to the forefront. It should. If you got... So you you want to dance on in grave sites and this and that and that and this. You want to line people up. You want to this. You want to that. And now y'all want to cover everything up. Now the spotlight's on y'all. It's on y'all. And Onan was bringing up the Scorpion unit, saying that they dirty and they this and that and that and it is. Did y'all see the Scorpion units that got caught up for that guy? Did y'all see that? The Scorpion unit has already been outed for the dirtiness that they're doing. They got so many complaints on them as well. They've been under investigation. So if this connects the Scorpion unit with Shrek over there and all the stuff that they got going on out here, the dirty shit that's going on, that's a good thing. Because now the spotlight's on them. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? It ain't fun. When the rabbit it got the gun. Okay, y'all? It ain't fun. And they peed off and they mad. Okay, y'all? So stay tuned. Because anything, anything that I get from my old sources, okay? Because I told y'all I have to 
block out the new, block out the new. And everybody that was on BS that was sending me stuff that really was on BS to saying that they not. And the people, some people that was, they wasn't on BS that sent me stuff. That's new. But some people that really is on BS that sent me something. Especially when it's tied too. You trying to line me up to try to get my page taken down or discredit me. You just put a spotlight on yourself. Pat yourself on the back, baby. Okay? Because I'm telling y'all now, I'm not playing no games. I'm not playing no games. Now, my all my regular sources that send me stuff, don't worry about it. I ain't giving up no nothing to nothing. But if you got something to do with what happened on my birthday, and you ain't on up and up, my people about to find out. Don't worry. I got patience. Okay, y'all? Anyway, um, please like, share, and subscribe if you liked this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.